I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The problem of trying to save yourself and what it looks like. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's on every platform. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts. Our kids need your gifts in these dark times. The gospel, the traditional gospel for the 17th Sunday after, after Trinity is from Luke 14, where the Lord tells a parable. And the parable is about as he is told as he watches the Pharisees jockeying for the top spots. He says to them, when you are invited to, by someone to a wedding feast, don't sit down at a, in a place of honor, lest someone more distinguished than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, hey, give your seat to this, give your seat, give your place to this person. And then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place so that when your host comes, he will say to you, friend, move up higher, and then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and all humbling themselves will be exalted. Why do we do this? Why are we like this? Why do we jockey for position at parties? Come on, boy. Want this? Well, come on over here. Why do we do that? Why are we concerned about that? Why, it, why do we try for the top spots? Well, all of it is about forgetting who you are or whose you are. You are an heir of heaven. All things are yours. Jesus is the son of God. You're a child of God. Jesus is the heir of heaven. You are the heir of heaven in him. Jesus died for you and rose for you, and now he lives, and you live forever in him. All things are yours. God hasn't kept anything from you. In fact, the top spot in heaven is yours by faith alone. We forget that, and so we start jockeying for positions. We play shoots and ladders with people, trying to push others down to raise ourselves up all because we forget who we are. If you remember that you have everything, if you remember that Jesus died and rose again for you, well, get in your bed. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. In your bed. Come on. Jump in. Jump in. You're embarrassing me, son. Jump in. Jump. Jump. Oh, how awful is this? Sorry, I'm really embarrassed about this. Can't get him to do it. When we forget who we are, we get whose we are. That's when we have to start worrying about excelling past someone. Because in life, we don't have to outrun the bear that's chasing us. We just have to run, outrun other people so that the bear gets them. That's awful, but it's the way we live. That's why we exalt ourselves and push others down. And we play that with God, too. God, I'm... At least I'm not, you know, like Borkart who can't get his dog to jump in his bed. Get in the bed! It's sad. You are one for whom he died. That's what defines you. You aren't defined by what you are and aren't. What defines you is your baptism. The adjectives that we use to describe ourselves, sinner, unrighteous, thief, robber, adulterer, um, all these descriptive words, uh, some of those are nouns, but you know what I mean, um, all these descriptive words that, that are true of us, adulterer, idolater, despiser of God's word and sacraments. They're not the final word on us. Christ and Christ alone. He's our salvation and he is the one 
who defines us. Oh, look at that. And so remember this, the end of the shoots and ladders religion, the end of climbing the ladder to try to be better with God, the end of pushing others down in order to make yourself look better with God, that ended on Calvary when he died for you. And now you are an heir of heaven. You are possessor of all things. You are worth what you are worth because Christ did what he did for you. And in that certainty, you can truly love others. You can truly be a, be a friend to others. You can lift them up because there's in heaven, there's more than enough room in the top seats at the head table for all of us, all of us, even you and me. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Barkhart and a dog that won't obey me. And this has been another Higher Things video short. Can you see him? There he is. You see him? Later. 